evening and welcome to another before and after. With me this evening is Ms. Jean Duncan, Secretary of the St. Vincent Music Association. Ms. Duncan, good evening. Good evening, Dougie. Okay, can you tell us right now what are the plans the Music Association have for this year? Oh, well, perhaps I may begin by saying, well, I, most of our plans have been completed, or perhaps all of our plans, because the festival opens on Sunday next, the 29th, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon at the Democrat House. You talk about the music festival. Festival. Yes, the festival opens at that time and continues every night from Monday until Friday of that week at 8 o'clock every, every evening at 8 and then on the following Monday which is the 6th of April we have the night of the finals okay can you give us a little in-depth about the whole music festival okay I better go a bit by saying that the Music Association is an organization which tries to promote music in all its forms even though we are aware of existing groups we encourage other people to come together who are interested in music and hence we have been hosting this festival for a number of years beginning in 1956 there were some lapses but this is our 14th festival we have included on our program vocals solos trios duets quartets and those we have set pieces then you have a number of people who have entered in the gospel section and uh, they are the people who like to sing the pop tunes so we have provision for that these we brought in a couple of years now because we know a lot of people like to sing the popular tunes and not probably the set pieces although this year we have tried to bring some very interesting things like tunes from the sound of music and west side story the more popular ones so the set pieces but you can choose your own um, make your own selections then we have instrumentals woodwinds brass strings guitars both acoustic and electric um, we have folk choirs and that promises to be very exciting this year from what I have seen um, we have um, well of course the piano fort solos and duets and uh, we can't leave out pan yeah, we have pan solos, we have duets, we have pan ensembles, and we have pan steel band, a complete band. And then we allow people to express themselves. There are two groups for own composition. You can sing anything, pop, calypso, whatever it may be, your own composition, individual, as well as groups or in folk style. I know in the past we used to have an adjudicator from foreign. What will be the happening this time oh boy we have a very outstanding adjudicator this year she's mrs june williams thorne of trinidad i don't know dougie i wonder if you were born then <laughs> you would have heard of the marionette squire they came here some years ago the marionettes well she was the founder and director of that choir i think it was mr douglas brisbane who bought brought them here they performed at the russell cinema and then she taught music and directed for 17 years at the Holy Name Convent in Trinidad. During that time, she was responsible for the production of those two popular LPs, Sing Out My Soul and Wake Up My People. I don't know about those. Right. And in 1991, she got the Trinidad and Tobago Hummingbird Award, which is a gold for outstanding contribution to music in Trinidad and Tobago. And what she does now, she formed another choir, her own choir, the Chanteur Immortel. I spoke with her a couple nights ago and she said they're now preparing a CD for Easter. Will she bring along her group to just participate? No, they're going to be so busy. As a matter of fact, she has to complete their section before she leaves Trinidad for our festival. But she is a very experienced musician and an accomplished pianist. And she'll be here throughout the festival? Throughout the festival. Unfortunately, we are sending her out on the Saturday after the Friday night show because on the 6th, 
we're going to have the night of the finals when all the gold medalists are going to perform. You see, for this is the second year that we have decided to make our festival non-competitive. Because okay. there are a number of people who just stayed out because they thought, well, oh, the King's Town Chorale, oh, they're way above us and we wouldn't, you know, make any showing there. So we decided everybody will perform and they would have received an award on their own merit. So you either get a gold, a silver or a bronze. And this has attracted a number of persons. We have close to 200 participants. Will the King's Song Choir be competing or be participating? Not the choir, but they have groups. They have like the, in the Kumail Quartet and they have duets and so forth, but not the choir as a, as a whole. I think this year, maybe, I don't know if it's for the first time you have attracted sponsorship? For the very first time. Now you, you would see this association, we as I said, we're there to promote music in all its forms and we have the fundraising efforts that the normal organization would have like a block or something like that. We don't get into that and therefore we are not very healthy financial wise and we spent a lot of money um, with that scholarship plus we just bought a new piano. The music tutor who was here the last time, he complained that we needed a proper instrument so we bought a new piano. And we realized we must have a festival as we missed the 1966 one. And thus we went around looking for sponsors. But by the time we got to the National Commercial Bank, they said we would do the whole festival. And we were happy for that. So we refer to it as the 14th National Commercial Bank Festival, Music Festival. You spoke just now about the scholarship. Can you give us um, some idea what the scholarship was all about and who was the recipient? Oh well, to, that was, we thought we'd give a scholarship to mark our 50th anniversary of the Music Association. It began as a music council and in 1975 we changed and we broadened our membership, membership scope. And to mark that we offered a scholarship and Lancelot Belgrave, who is a panist, he got that and he went down to Trinidad and did his studies there. Well Lance has come back and he's made full use of all his experience and what he gained there, he has opened a music school and he is mainly responsible for s many of the, en the pan entries in this festival. A lot of the, um, the pan is going to come from his school? From his school, yes. That's very nice. Yeah, we have We Fantasia taking part and we have Bishop's College Steel Orchestra taking part, but the solos and the duets are coming from his school. I guess you all feel very proud of um, the assistance you all give to him. Of course, because you know, you can see he appreciates it. As a matter of fact, he had been manning our office on Saturdays where we have been distributing music and participants' cards. We hope all the participants have gone down to collect their cards because these are their entry cards that they need to to um, have to enter the, to come in on the night of their performance. So we hope they go to collect that. And I just would like to mention the price because a lot of people got confused. On the opening day, which is the uh, Sunday afternoon, the 29th, the opening festival, and this Sunday. this Sunday, and it will be de the festival will be declared open by His Excellency Sir Charles. It's under the patronage of His Excellency and Lady Antrobus, as well as one of our patrons, Sir Cuthbert Woodruff and Lady Woodruff. And that evening, we are asking you to pay ten dollars. All the night shows from the Monday to the Friday, five dollars, and children, three dollars. It was the same last so a couple of years ago, but we realize the economic situation and we want an audience because people perform into an empty room. They can't put forward their best. So we're not really out to make money, although we need money. We want participation from the audience also. Uh, but the final night, you've got to pay a little more. That's because you're having the cream of the crop, $20. And it will be happening at the same at the Democrat? All at Democrat House. Um, five o'clock on the first evening, eight o'clock every night, and even the night of the finals. Eight o'clock every night at Democrat House. We are really looking forward to a grand festival. You know, there was so much enthusiasm. There are people who, you would never believe, Dougie, that Friday and Saturday, we had people asking to us still to include them. Well, the program went to the printers. We don't want to leave them out. They would not be on the program, but they will perform. Okay. All right then, um, here's wishing the Music Association all the best and I hope that everybody go out this Sunday night and enjoy the opening night of the 14th Music Festival sponsored by the National Commercial Bank. I'm Dougie Nose Joseph, good evening.